Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjalayamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on the subject Design of Transmission System. This is lecture number 9.5. We are going to solve problems in the design of 9 speed gearbox using the PSG Design Data Book. In the earlier lecture, we solved the problem on the 6 speed gearbox. Example number 3, a 9 speed gearbox used as a headstock gearbox, gearbox of a turret lathe is to provide a speed range of 180 rpm to 1800 rpm. Using standard step ratio, draw the speed diagram and kinematic layout. Also find and fix the number of teeth on all the gears. Also calculate the percentage of deviation of the obtainable speeds from the calculated ones. This question was appearing in November 2013, November 2015 and May 2016. We write down the given data, number of step equal to 9, minimum speed 180 rpm, maximum speed 1800 rpm and we calculate the progression ratio, phi equal to n maximum divided by n minimum to the power 1 by z minus 1, 1800 divided by 180 to the power 1 by 9 minus 1 equal to 1.33. The standard progression ratio from the R40 series is 1.32, it is R40 by 6. So the R40 series from page number 7.2 PHD design data book is shown here. So the progression ratio it increases like this 1, 1 1.06, 1.12, 1.18, 1.25, 1.32. So 1.32 is R40 by 6. Now we have to take the speed from the R40 series, so starting with the 180 RPM, so 180, then we have to count from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 236, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 315, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 425, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 560, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 750, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1,320, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1,800. So, these are all the 9 different speeds that is shown in the table in the next slide and number of stages equal to 2. So, u equal to 2 and the structural formula selected is 3 by 3. So these are all the standard speeds from R40 by 6, 180, 236, 315, 425, 560, 750, 1000, 1320 and 1800. Next we have to draw the structural diagram. To draw the structural diagram, we have to take the following steps. Draw u plus 1 that is 2 plus 1 equal to 3 vertical lines at convenient distance from each other. So u is the number of stages, 2 stage gearbox. So we have 3 vertical lines. Draw an array of horizontal lines intersecting the vertical lines at a distance of log phi equal to log of 1.32 from each other. The number of horizontal lines equal to number of steps z of the gearbox. So here we have to draw 9 horizontal lines. The number of gears on the one shaft should not be generally more than 3 but in some exceptional cases it may be 4 and this is the structural diagram. So the structural diagram give information about number of gears in each shaft and the various speeds and the structural equation. So the meaning of this structural diagram for this is the driver shaft, input shaft of the gearbox, this is the driven shaft, driven shaft, output shaft of the gearbox and we have a shaft in between, shaft 2. For every single speed in the driver shaft, there are 3 output speeds and the 3 output speeds are 1320, 560 and 236 and for the from shaft 2 for every input speed there will be 3 output speed on the driven shaft so all the 9 speeds are obtained that is shown in the structural diagram then we have to draw the speed chart or the ray diagram so draw vertical lines one greater than in the structural diagram so in the structural diagram we have 3 vertical lines we have to draw one more extra when the motor speed is given so in this example motor speed is not given so we continue with the 3 vertical lines 
Draw horizontal lines intersecting the vertical lines at convenient distance. From R40 series, take the minimum speed N1 closest to the value given in the problem and write the values N1 to N9. So that we have done. We have taken the speed from R40 series. The motor speed is not given. So the number of horizontal lines equal to 9. So that is 9 speed gearbox. The speed chart gives the information about the transmission ratio of all transmission and the speed value of each gear shaft, gearbox shaft. The line joining point of the adjacent shaft indicates the transmission ratio. There are three levels. When the line is horizontal, I equal to 1, that is, there is no change in the speed. If the line is inclined upward, I is greater than 1, that is, speed increases. If the line is inclined downward, I is less than 1, that, that is, speed is decreasing. And there are restrictions for the maximum and the minimum speed. Maximum I value less than or equal to 2 and the minimum value I value greater than or equal to 0.25. The minimum speed reduction is limited to 4 that is 0.25 equal to 1 by 4 to keep the radial dimension of the gearbox within the limit. So, if suppose the value is less than 0.25, the overall size of the gearbox will increase. The maximum uh, increase, uh, increase in the speed is limited to 2 times due to the limitation of pitch line velocity. So, higher the pitch line velocity that will increase the stress value on the gears. And this is the ray diagram. We use the same chart what we have drawn earlier for the structural diagram and we have calculated the speed ratio or the transmission ratio for each transmission. So, the values are given here. So, here the speed is increasing by 2.35, here there is no change in the speed 1.0 and here this is decreasing the speed by value 2.37 and similarly here 1.36 it is increasing, 1.76 it is decreasing. So, like that we can calculate the various speed ratio 1.36 obtained by 1800 divided by 1320. So, the 1.34 is 750 divided by 560. So, similarly you have to calculate all the transmission ratio of each transmission in the gearbox. Then we have to standardize the value. So, these are all the transmission ratio, actual transmission ratio. Now, we have to standardize the value for the convenience of the gearbox design. For standardizing the value, we have to once again refer to the PhD designer dub book, page number 9.6 to 8.6 to 8.12. So, referring to the data book, PH data book 8.6 to 8.12. So, we have standardized. So, the values are changed. 1.41 is a standard speed ratio, 2.5 is the standard speed ratio, 1 is available. So, this is what the original value, actual value and this is how we have been, we have corrected the, the standard speed ratio or the transmission ratio. Now, we have to calculate the actual speed. So, the 560 there is no change. So, 516 to 2.5 equal to 1400 instead of 1320, this will be 1400 and 1400 into 1.41 equal to 1974 and 1400 divided by 1.41 equal to 993. Similarly, 560 into 1.41 equal to 789.6, 560 divided by 1.41 equal to 397.2 and here 560 divided by 2.5 equal to 224 and 224 into 1.41 equal to 315.6 and 224 divided by 1.41 equal to 159. So, this is the actual speed in the output shaft, driven shaft of the gearbox. Now, this is the variation. So, the actual original speed what we have taken from the R40 series, the actual value or the corrected speed with respect to the standard transmission ratio and the percentage of change in the speed value. So, this is we have to calculate because it is uh, it is given in the question. So, we have to calculate percentage of change. Then we have to select the number of teeth. So, in the table 8.6 to 8.12 with respect for the given transmission ratio or the standard transmission ratio, we can take the speed combination. And we have to check that the number of teeth between the adjacent shaft. So, it, it is equal. So, for example, for the first transmission 2.5 into and 1. So, the number of teeth equal to 46. For the second stage of transmission, 1 and 1.41, the number of teeth is equal to 46. So, this is how we have to select the standard transmission ratio and the number of teeth on the gears. 
so whichever we can use any one of these depending on the either increasing the speed or decreasing the speed we can change the number of teeth on each gear so that uh, we can conveniently manufacture the gear and uh, we can install the in the gearbox and then we have to draw the kinematic layout for the given speed diagram or the rate diagram and this is the kinematic arrangement of the gearbox so we have first shaft driver shaft so this is one transmission ratio is one for the from the driver shaft to the shaft to two so because you look at here one is at one is at two 23 23 there is no change in the speed and here there is increase in the speed by 2.5 so here we have more number of teeth here we have less number of teeth so z4 this wheel will be rotating at the higher speed then here it is 1 by 1.25 so here there is change that is what the advantage of using the standard values so here we have used we have used the 13 33 now we have reversed 13 33 here so that the speed reduction will occur and the, here for the second stage shaft to 2 to the driven shaft so z7 z8 23 23 there is no change in the speed and here if you look at here 27 19 there is increase in the speed and here there is decrease in the speed by the transmission ratio 1.41 and the condition at the, as we said earlier the condition is the sum of the teeth in the between the two shaft should be equal to 46 so here z1 plus z2 equal to z3 plus z4 equal to z5 plus z6 equal to 46 similarly between these two shafts z7 plus z8 equal to z9 plus z10 plus z11 plus z12 equal to 46 so we stop here these are all the books i have written mechanical engineering and i upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the youtube channel uh, for the benefit of the students you subscribe the channel use the video lectures for your better learning and preparation for the examination so thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box you can contact me for any help on the subject and we will meet again in another video lecture with a 9 speed gearbox until then bye bye